What is up everybody, my name is Pete and I play music. Practice makes perfect as I say. What they don't say however is that sometimes practice can be so frustrating, so infuriating, that it makes you want to rage quit and smash your guitar so hard that the next thing you know, you're out of the band. Fear not however, Tyler from Music is Win and I are here to help you with some quick tips and tricks to help make your practice more effective. And the first tip, have a goal. Whatever you're practicing, whenever you're practicing. It's always good to have some kind of goal, something tangible to strive for and to achieve. It could be anything, even simple stuff. Perhaps you want to nail the same lick five times in a row without mistakes. Maybe you want to work solely on legato runs or perhaps just learn how to play smoke on the water. What's up? Tyler from Music Is Win here. Thanks for having me on your channel, Pete. What a true privilege. I have some guitar tips for you. And the first one is this. Avoid distractions. Now this can apply to more than just guitar playing, of course, but what we have to understand as musicians is that music, and guitar especially, is really, really fun. And we can get distracted by more than just this. We can get distracted by noodling and other things that come along with playing the most fun instrument in the world. And the best suggestion I have for that is to form a practice routine and a practice schedule so that way you don't have to think about what to do when you sit down. It's already planned out for you. For you. For you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just a minute. Hold your horses because the next tip is to slow it down. This isn't a race mate and there's very little point in blazing up and down the fretboard, melting faces faster than Malmsteen himself if it's all sloppy. Now everybody wants to play fast, including me, but in order to do it cleanly, try starting slow. And I mean really slow. Work up to tempo over time, developing the muscle memory and endurance as you go. My next tip, use a metronome. If you really want to become a proficient guitar player, you must be able to play in time, and that means being able to play to a metronome, which also translates to playing with other musicians. Now obviously not a lot of people love that monotonous metronome click, so you can also use drum tracks and loops, anything that you can measure the time and understand, hey, I'm getting better. I used to be able to play it at this speed, now I can play it at this speed. Measuring speed is not always the most important thing, but as a developing guitar player, you should be striving to improve some of the bass technical skills. I recommend making your practice musical if you can, which means something like this. Instead of playing to a metronome click with nothing else, have a little loop in the background, and then do exactly what you would do with a metronome and experience the thrill of actually making music and practicing at the same time. <laughs> My next tip is a real simple one. Keep a diary, a written log of everything you do. This is something I used to do on a daily basis when I was having lessons with my guitar teacher, Martin Goulding. He would encourage me to write down literally everything that I practiced. The exercise, the tempo, the duration, everything. So why is this such a good thing to do? I mean, surely just writing things down won't improve my sweep picking at all. Well, yeah, you're kind of right, but sometimes to improve our guitar playing, we have to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Keeping a written log is not only good for tracking your own progress, but it also encourages discipline in your practice routine and will help you focus your time more efficiently. And that will help improve all of your playing, not just your sweep picking. Here's another tip for you. Be self-critical. That's right, be honest with yourself. Did you really play that lick cleanly? Did you really get that down? Or is it kind of just being glossed over, hiding behind that wall of delay? Now look, music should be fun. You should never be sad or mad at your guitar because you can't master something, but you should also want to improve, and that means being self-critical. Can I do this better? What do I need to do in order to execute this better? Once you start asking those questions, you'll not only feel better about your progress, but you'll make more of it. Next up, discipline. 
Basically what this means is don't be lazy. When we're talking about the discipline of practice, one thing that often gets overlooked is the practice of discipline. So let's say you wanna practice for one hour, five days a week, take the weekends off, something like that. Do your absolute best to stick to that schedule that you have set yourself. It is super easy to make excuses and get distracted and fall off schedule, especially as you are the only person making sure you adhere to it. Quite simply, don't be lazy. The Xbox and Netflix can wait and will still be there when you're done. Another tip I have for you, jam over backing tracks. This goes along in conjunction with the metronome tip. It's always more fun to jam over some music, but to go further than trying to hone your skills, you need to be able to get outside of the practice spectrum every now and then and just unload on a backing track. I actually spend the most time in my practice not actually practicing technical things. I just spend time practicing over jam tracks and sometimes that means playing along with other songs. Pete, I think you may have something to say about Metallica. And other times that means just working on your voice, your guitar voice, honing that. After all, you never wanna sound robotic and that's what's gonna happen if you only practice the technical stuff. Throw on a backing track, close your eyes, and have fun. Okay, so this is a fun tip. Learn songs, Metallica songs. All right, I'm biased here because I love Metallica, but if you ask me, one of the best ways to improve your guitar playing is to learn songs from bands and musicians you love. Real quick, story time. When I was 13 years old, I knew that Master of Puppets by Metallica was too hard for me to play. It was beyond my skill level. But I got the tab and I tried anyway, and a few weeks later, I could play it, and I haven't looked back since. It taught me about downpicking, songwriting, time signatures, and much, much more. So find a band or musician that you really love and you know will challenge your guitar playing. Buy the tab book if there is one, or find the chords and challenge yourself to learn it cover to cover. It may change your life and, like it did with me, give you the confidence to know that you can play anything given enough time and effort. Last tip I have for you guys, I've hit on already, but it's to create a practice schedule, the ultimate guitar practice routine. It goes over how I practice and break my schedule out, and it also provides a template for you. Essentially, the idea is to break your practice sessions into 15 or 20 minute intervals of time and choose different categories to hit on different days. And this is an ongoing, ever-changing routine. So it's never going to repeat itself. It's always going to stay fresh. And this is very important for practicing and getting better. You never want to get stale because that makes you want to not really pick up your instrument. Once you stick to a routine, you will notice vast improvement in all the areas. And it will also help you form goals as a musician. All good things. Thanks for letting me be on your channel, Pete. I hope you, Pete's viewers, found some value in this video. And if I were you, I'd listen to what Pete has to say. He's pretty good at guitar. Thanks, Tyler. You're not so bad at this guitar thing yourself. And thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful and got something out of it. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more from me, and the link to Tyler's channel is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching. My name is Pete, and I play music. And uh, Tyler, why don't you play us out?